Third round highlights from the McKenzie Tours, the Players' Cup held at Pine Ridge Golf Club in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And we'll start it off on the 13th hole with Drew Weaver at six under. This for Eagle to jump to eight under par. Now he rolled into the 13th, one over on his day. But he fixes that right here as he rolls in a beauty from downtown with a fist pump to match. He would finish even par after giving it back on 17. So he's at seven under heading into Sunday. Mackenzie Hughes on the seventh. This for birdie to move to nine under par. He had a bogey on the fourth. So trying to get it back here on the seventh. He would birdie eight as well, but he would finish one over on Saturday. He's at eight under par with 18 holes to play. Krister Erickson on the 13th. This is a short birdie attempt to move to eight under. His birdies came in pairs on Saturday, eight and nine, and then 12 and 13 for a three under 68, eight under overall. Joseph Harrison on the fourth. Now he picked one up early on the second, another one here on four, and finishes three under on his day, and he's five off the lead, eight under par. Daniel Balin, the Penn State University alum on 16, this for birdie to move to 11 under, a lot of speed on this putt and it was perfect coming up birdies on three of his last five holes and that would make it four in his last six to finish at 10 under overall. That's three off the lead. Cheng Soon Pan, a name you should be familiar with. He made his pro debut earlier this year and made the cut at both the US Open and the Travelers Championship as he Puts that undulating putt in the bottom of the cup, and he finds himself just three off the lead, also a 10 under par, thanks to a third round six under 65. So Pan turning pro this year and making a splash everywhere he goes as he tries to card his first professional victory. But if he does that, that means he'll be taking down this man, J.J. Spong, currently fifth on the order of merit. And he can take over that top spot as long as Drew Weaver finishes tied for second or worse. So that was his second shot on the first. He would tap in for birdie and will pick up Spawn on the second hole looking for back-to-back -back circles to start his round. He gets it to go. He would birdie four as well, so he's three under in his first four holes and then we'll take you around to his back nine on the 12th. Spawn with a nice little dap and smile there. Can't get off to a better start. This for birdie to move to 12 under par. And he gets it to go. He would birdie 13 as well. That was his last of the day to take a two-shot lead heading into Sunday.